I am a crocheter. I have crocheted for most of my life and I am about to do something crazy. I am about to buy my first set of knitting needles. If you're new to my page, I have been struggling with an injury in my wrist and my arm for about the last four months and I can only crochet for about five to 10 minutes a day. The pain seems to come from this whole twisting and pulling motion that you do while you're crocheting. So I started thinking about knitting and thinking about how much stiffer your hands are in general while you're knitting. There's still a lot of movement, but it's not quite as bad as this like twist and pull, twist and pull with crocheting. So I think we're finally gonna do it. I think we're gonna buy some knitting stuff and we're gonna try to learn how to knit. I made this video that I'll link below that's literally telling y'all what I would buy today if I was just starting my crochet journey today. And now I'm looking all the knitting hooks, knitting hooks, listen to me, knitting hooks. I'm looking at all the knitting needles and I'm like, I need a video like this now to tell me what I should buy for knitting because I don't know what to buy for knitting. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the advice that I gave in that video and I'm going to start by buying the yarn that I would like to knit with and then I will choose knitting needles that fit that yarn. I'm going to a lot of Ren Fairs this year and I've been wanting to make more pieces for me to wear and I found this yarn cake that I just feel like would be kind of perfect or yarn halo, is that what this is called? I found this halo of yarn that I think would be kind of perfect. I don't know, I like like the natural looking fibers. I love the texture of this. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of it but it just feels like I can make something out of this that'll go along with my Ren Fair outfits. And it's on sale for $4.97 and it says that I need six millimeter knitting needles. I will get used to not saying hooks at some point in time. Some of the knitting needles have little stoppers at the end and some of them don't. What's the difference? Should I just get both? You know, I came to the store to film an entirely different video, but now I'm really excited that we're gonna learn how to knit. I'm home from Joanne's. I'm getting set up to go on live to talk to you guys. And I have my knitting stuff, so I'm gonna go live and try to learn how to knit. I've never used one of these like yarn halo things before. Where does it start? Where does it end? This, oh, did I just break it? <laughs> okay, I found the end. So weird, it's like a worm. <laughs> hello, sunflowers. Hello, hello, and welcome. Today, we are doing something new. We are going to attempt to learn how to knit. And I know quite literally nothing about knitting. Hi Priscilla, hi Sage, hi Nicole. Hello Maya, Golden, Olivia, Haley. Not to roll around, we're gonna put our finger. And this was my left hand, right? I love you too, Maya. You've never been on my live before? Okay, well usually it's, we're doing something different than this. I've never learned how to knit while on live before. I don't know, I thought this might be kind of a fun thing to experience together. So we're holding it in this hand. Update, someone in the chat, I'm sorry, I don't remember who, said to watch RJ Knits and I learned how to cast on. Like, look at this. I do the twisty thing, I put it on the needle, and then I pull. <gasps> I'm casting on, I'm learning how to knit. This is so cool. Wait, now I already forgot. Which way does it go? That way, and ta-da! Okay, I'm doing the thing. I'm doing, I'm doing the knitting thing, y'all, and this is so much harder than crocheting. You go, like, through the loop, G-loop, which, by the way, I cast on way too tight. It's very difficult. So next time we're not gonna cast on that tight. Someone in the chat told me that I should cast on using two needles and then remove one needle. That way you don't cast on too tightly and I love that idea. So needle goes through, yarn goes around, pull it down in the middle so you got two X's and then pull this needle back around and under, grab it and then swoop de swoop it off of the, 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 the knitting machine thing. What are these called? Knitting needles. I keep wanting to say knitting hooks. <laughs> Lunar on the live says knitting will never not be confusing to me. Same. I was literally like trying to figure this out and I'm like, but what if I mess up? Because with crocheting and I, if I mess up, I get it. I just go and you just pull out the crochet stitches. Y'all like what happens if you mess up while you're knitting? Like is the project just over? I'm so genuinely confused. Also, I really did cast on way too tightly. Next time I'm gonna take the advice of the chat and I'm going to cast on using two needles. Look at that, look at that. And I really do feel like this is something I'm going to be able to do way easier with my injury because it doesn't take the same like twist and pull, twist and pull motion that crocheting has. I feel like, especially with how slow I am at knitting, I feel like this is something that doesn't take very much effort on my arm. So I'm very happy. I've missed working with yarn. I officially finished the second row. I think I just take the needle off now. Okay, nothing has fallen apart so far. Wait a second, I'm forgetting everything. Hold on, I gotta watch more of the video. I don't wanna speak too soon. 
but I might be understanding how to knit now. This is still way harder than crocheting. Knitters, I believe that you are truly magicians and that this is just magic, but I'm actually slowly but surely figuring this out. This is really cool. I feel like I learned how to knit today. Could I teach you how to knit? No, I don't think I, I don't think I can yet because <laughs> I don't know. But the amazing video that taught me how to knit, I am going to link in the description of this video. I don't know how to do anything rather than this one little stitch, but like, look at that. Look at that. That actually looks like knitting. This is crazy. I understand now why Josh, every time he knits, talks about how it is so much slower than crocheting. I feel like this is gonna take me 10 billion years to make anything. <gasps> oh no, guys. What do you do if you drop a stitch? <sighs> Y'all, I dropped it. Oh, I got it. That was so stressful. See, this is the thing with crocheting. If you just rip it out, you can just like put it back on. Who invented knitting? What are you doing? This is crazy. I don't remember what sentence I was in the middle of, but basically knitting is harder than crocheting and it's also fun. So, you know, if I get better at it and if it doesn't hurt my arm as much, I think that this will be a fun way to continue to do yarn projects because I, oops, I just dropped three stitches because I really miss working with yarn. This is so much more stressful. This is way too stressful. I literally don't know if I can do this because I do crocheting to like help my anxiety and y'all, every time I drop a stitch, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> okay, I think I did it. I think I got it back on. Okay. This is coming along. This is turning into a nice little project. Ta-da! That is, I suppose, the end of this video where I am learning how to knit very poorly. This is gonna be a whole new journey that we're going on and I'm really excited about it. Thank you to my, to my YouTube Live who has literally been here for the last hour walking me through things with knitting and also telling me which tutorials to go watch. The tutorial that I used to learn how to knit as a total beginner, I will link below and I will see you guys in the next video.